Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Evan with the Swing Trade Pros team here. And in this short video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up your trading view charts if you just purchase the STP indicators. I know there's lots of them, so we're going to go through just a couple of the basic ones that I think you guys should be utilizing if you guys have just purchased the STP indicators. So stay tuned for this content. Make sure you guys smash up the like button. Stay throughout the whole video. This is going to be very informative for you guys. Trust me, it won't be too long. We'll catch you on the charts. Okay, so we're going to start with a brand new trading view layout here. Um, I'm going to customize this so that you guys can see how to change things on the charts. Like if you just purchased the indicators, you don't really understand trading view that well. And we wanted to just do a little quick how to set up your chart video here. Okay, so assuming you have all the indicators in your invite only scripts, first thing we're going to do is actually we're going to go to the settings here and we're going to um, change. I personally like to use these bright green handles and the wicks white so you can clearly see where the selling comes in or the buying comes in right and also i want to show real prices on uh price scale here instead of hiking a she and we're going to click ok and then we're going to go to appearance here on the vertical grid lines and remove the vertical and horizontal grid lines. I, this is just a personal preference for me. Um, I personally don't like the grid lines, but you can keep them as, as you wish. And uh, in terms of the background, I like a really dark black background um, to keep it nice and clean on the chart. And then after you've done this or you've, you've customized your chart to however you'd like it, um, I click on indicators, invite only scripts, um, if you guys have access to the SAR, I would suggest obviously using that. But if you do not have access to the SAR indicator, I personally like to use the MACD candles. Now this is pretty interesting. It really helps you understand the flow of the price. Once you cross back above this, this, uh, this moving average here, you probably get a move back up and vice versa. If you cross down, you get a move down. I like to use this indicator for that. Very informative, very helpful. Another indicator I like to use here is the buy sell zone indicator. And um, this, this helps to determine whether or not we're going to see a move up. So on the daily time scale right now, uh, if Bitcoin closes just like this, just like how we are today, and we don't get a move down, and we, we don't start selling off, um, this will confirm a daily continuation. And likewise, if we were to confirm um, a yellow candle, we would confirm a continuation down. That's how to utilize the buy sell zone indicator. Um, and these are these are the types these these two indicators I think are very very helpful. Um, we also have the price flow indicator, which also helps you identify the trend. Like right now we are in a downtrend. You can see how the price flow is is red. Okay, and also I like to use the RSI band indicator, which gives you kind of the range, the bound the boundaries of where we could see a move up or a move down. Like if we're in the red band territory, this is obviously an optimal place to take a short trade. And you can see we got this big move down. And now we're sitting in this green band territory, which could be, um, you know, time for a move back up. Okay. Make sure you guys smash up the like button if you guys like this content. And if you're new to the channel and you don't know where to purchase the STP indicators, you can always check that out in the link in the description below or head to swingtradepros.com. And also, don't, do not forget to join the Discord. That is where all of this amazing content and amazing thing happens amazing things in our community are happening. So make sure you guys definitely join the Discord if you guys are new to STP and to trading. So these are just, you know, one, two, three, four of the indicators here you would get with the $57 a month package. We do have a few others on here that I, that I think that are also extremely helpful, like the overbought and oversold indicator. This tells you when uh, the candles become overbought. This is on a daily time scale, so we are oversold down here. When you become oversold, this is the time to buy. When you become overbought, this is the time to sell. Okay, so very helpful uh, indicators here when you're looking for entry points or, or exit points. Um, if you're new to trading, you really just want to pay attention to support and resistance levels, which brings me to the next indicator we do have here for you guys, which is the support and resistance levels. And you guys can see here um, the green the green lines and the red lines here representing support and resistance. You want to be buying on supports and selling at resistances. It's it really is that simple. Um, 
Again, guys, if you guys like this content, make sure you guys smash up the like button, hit the subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.